Hi there, I'm Joseph Mount from Metronomy. And I'm Oscar Cash from Metronomy. So get yourself fixed up. I'll take you out round town. I swear you'll never win anything quite as fine. Um, like metronomy is something that I, I started in a kind of one way or another when I was like in my late teens, just making kind of music on a on a computer, and um, uh, and I was living in Brighton in England, and uh, and and ended up putting a record out, and then started got a, like a live band together, which had Oscar and and a guy called Gabriel, and then it's kind of like a lot of things have happened since then, but where we're we're at now <laughs> is uh it's the third album's just come out um like about two and a half years ago gabriel left and anna and benga joined and um and yeah we're kind of like we're, t we're in a band <laughs> we're in a touring band so the, um the new the new album is called the the english riviera and um and the English Riviera is this place which is a kind of uh, a small stretch of coast in the southwest of England, um, which is very close to where I grew up. And and is this, I don't know, like I guess the, the idea with the record was to, I was getting a bit little, you know, a little older, missing, missing um, home. <laughs> and, uh, and I just started thinking about this place that I grew up and how it's kind of, how it, uh, how it, kind of helped me turn out to be who I am and how it's got this kind of ridiculous name, which is the English Riviera. <laughs> um, but so yeah, it's just kind of like a bit of a, like an affectionate idea, but, but at the same time when I was growing up there, it was quite, um, it was quite off the map for bands to come and play. So we ended up, you know, like you end up, it's like being in the countryside, you end up wanting to, to get out quite quickly. So. So it's also like a bit of a reimagining of of it being this kind of cultural like hotspot. When you're getting ready to like to to put an album out or to you know when you're in the last well not the last stages you just start doing it before you've got to think about the artwork. <laughs> and um, <laughs> this is an instructional video. <laughs> Step two: <laughs> steal artwork. <laughs> now I was I was trying to think about what I wanted to do and and I wanted to kind of get like. I thought it'd be good to have a cover that was somehow like captured the the spirit of the English Riviera and and all the time I was aware of this this thing that John Gorham did for the actual for the actual like tourism office and and I just kind of thought it was too obvious to use um, but after a while like I started just looking at it and thought like you'd be a fool not to use it because it's you know it's like a the kind of it's the kind of graphic design equivalent of what that of what the kind of album is like trying to make this English Riviera into something that's kind of beautiful and stylish and and he managed to do it by not like with just kind of a very simple image and, and so yeah it's just it's kind of it's nice and it's a very nice piece of, of graphic design not that I know much about graphic design well it was about a week ago now we we were announced as like nominees for the mercury prize in england and um and it like happened and then the next day at 4 a.m we left the country <laughs> and we haven't been back since i mean it's the kind of thing like we come you come to america and people are kind of asking you questions about it so must be a big deal, must be a big deal. <laughs> but i mean it's great it's very we're all very like excited yeah I mean, I, th I think probably for a lot of people, this the the new album is their first kind of is like a, you know it'll be the first time a lot of people have heard about Metronomy, um, and the, the, but it's the third album and and the first two have come from much more of a like home production thing and and the, you know it's it's like this this thing uh, what <laughs> like Oscar's Oscar's analogy with mayonnaise and tuna mayonnaise if you're adding the mayonnaise to the tuna mayonnaise. You can always add more, but you can't take any out. Any you can't take any mayonnaise out <laughs> once it's in. <laughs> it's really pithy, isn't it's it? It's pithy. <laughs> so when I was making the first two records, and like, and I really love them both, like, and 
but it was just in that situation where you're, you're in a room and, and you can literally like just pile the mayonnaise on. <laughs> the musical mayonnaise. Um, and so I wouldn't like, I mean, I never thought that they were wacky or anything, but they were certainly like much more kind of just worked into and, and quite dense in like the amount of stuff that was going on. So with, with the new record, I wanted to make it like, like half, to kind of half like prove to to myself and maybe a few other people that behind all of that like perceived wackiness yeah like there are there are kind of there are songs there and and I think it's nice also to keep to keep people kind of kind of surprised and, and on their toes a bit about what what you might do next so hi we're Metronomy and you're watching Babel music you've got to speak into the microphone <laughs> you can't read it Fate, music, it's all called. <laughs> Hi, we're Metronomy. And you're watching babelmusic.com. <laughs>